So the so what I want to talk to y'all about is that um, all I all I keep seeing for the past two weeks, I'm gonna say, just about two weeks, come Thursday. All I hear the mainstream media talking about is should Biden get out? Do you think he should get out? What do you think about Joe Biden? And, and I keep hearing people coming on the news saying, oh, he needs to explain. We need an explanation. We need an explanation. We need to see more of him. We need to see more of him. It's like, I feel like the media must have dementia because the amount of the amount of times they're asking the same question and the amount of times that I'm hearing the same information from all of the people that's going on the news, I'm starting to feel like somebody else, it ain't Joe Biden that we need to be worried about. It's the mainstream media. It's the, the failed Democrats, the failed Democrats, I'm gonna say, the ones who try to go against Joe Biden have failed. Nobody has ever beaten Donald Trump except for Joe Biden. I was watching the news and the lady, you know, they asked one of his um, constituents, we're gonna say, um, do you, can you, can you guarantee us that for sure Joe Biden 100% will make it to the age of 86? Now, what kind of question is that? Cause, because can you guarantee that you're going to make it to tomorrow? Can you, can you guarantee that you're going to make it for the next two years? Can anybody guarantee that in the next five years or six years, they're going to still be around? Think about that. That's how, that's how far they're going to try to make out this man to be demented. Uh, now they now they saying he got Parkinson's. Now I'm watching the report. The man got Parkinson's. First it was dementia. Now it's Parkinson's. Oh, now it's dementia and Parkinson's. But in the past three and a half years, everybody else must have dementia and Parkinson's because the way this country is being ran, you can't deny the numbers. You can't deny the job growth. You can't deny the economy. You could talk about inflation all you want, but the reality is inflation is going to happen no matter who's the president. When you got a, a $34 trillion deficit, which $8 trillion of that was added on by the Trump campaign and his tax cuts to the billionaires, how do you expect it to be? How can you expect there to be no inflation? Do you think you could just keep spending money? Do you think that the middle class could just keep spending and keep paying all of the taxes while the top 1% pay nothing and it be no inflation? But meanwhile, we have a convicted felon, ex-president, convicted felon, 34 charges, been impeached twice, got over 20 women accusing him of sexual assault. We got him talking about grab, grabbing women by the vaginas. That's that's me putting it nicely. We got we got him being tied to Epstein. We have a woman that said that. Her, uh, Donald Trump and Epstein raped her but the media don't want to talk about that they want to talk about Joe Biden age that's what they would rather talk about 